Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a fantastic DIY rose liquor recipe for you. We're going to make an old school rose liquor that is both elegant and aromatic. By the end of this video, you'll have your own batch of smooth and tasty rose liquor. So let's dive into this step by step rose liquor guide. Here's what you'll need for our homemade rose liquor. 500 grams of fresh rose petals. Make sure they are organic and pesticide free. 300 grams of honey. The juice from two lemons. One liter of 95 proof alcohol. and nine cloves. At the same time, the tools that you'll need for this recipe are a five liter or gallon jar, a large bowl and a sifter for straining the solids later on in the process, and a wooden spoon to mix all the ingredients with. This is a perfect rose alcohol recipe for beginners, so let's get started. These beautiful rose petals are the star of our show, and did you know that the ancient Romans had a festival called Rosalia? In this festival they celebrated and adored the rose flowers. Now, I'm no Roman citizen, but I do grow a wide assortment of rose species and I do treat them in a regenerative matter and by regenerative principles. And since I treat the soil and nature around me with these healthy and wholesome principles, I decided to treat myself with the same care and love by protecting my skin from the sun with a pair of protective sleeves from Farmer's Defense. They were kind enough to send me a pair at the beginning of the season and it's been saving my bacon from what seems to be a hotter, brighter and more scorching sun than ever. In the last two years the sun has been as intense as Highlander the Source. I mean, that movie made no sense and neither does the sun lately, but both are so intense that if you don't protect yourself, you can get scarred for life. Luckily for all of us, Farmers Defense is offering all the viewers of the channel a 10% discount on all of their products. So I invite all of you to check out their website through the link you see above or present in the description of the video and to use the checkout code HOMEVERT underscore HOMESTEADER to get a 10% discount on your entire order. This is an affiliate link and I will get a small portion of the sale so thank you for supporting me in this way and this amazing company that is trying really hard to be as nature positive focused as possible that uses recycled material in their products and plants a tree for every order sent. Thank you. And going back to the Roman festival of Rosalia, I'll leave a link in the description of the video where you can study and learn more if you're interested about this festival and celebration of days long gone. But don't worry, even if neither of us is a citizen of the Roman Empire or a Kives Romani, we're still going to capture the same spirit in our artisanal rose liquor. And yes, I did use the typical hand gesture to channel the spirit of the Roman inside of me. Prep-wise, we need to remove the stems, leaves and buds from the roses, leaving us with just the petals. And here's a very useful tip. If you too are growing some roses in your garden, backyard, porch, trellis or even windowsill, know that the best time to pick them is very early in the morning between 6 and 7 a.m. because they will be as bug free as possible, as clean as possible due to the morning dew evaporating of the petals leaving them dry and squeaky clean and they will be at their peak when it comes to flavor, aroma and perfume as they are getting ready to open up and invite all the pollinators for the daily feast. On the other hand, please avoid buying roses for this recipe from the flower shop as they are sprayed with a toxic chemical cocktails that keep them fresh looking and stiff for as long as possible. 
They are not suitable for this recipe or any culinary applications. Alternatively, you can check farmer's market as in season they do sell roses for jams, jellies and your next exotic rose infusion that together with mine may become viral DIY liquor recipes. Apart from the rose petals, we need to squeeze the juice out of the lemons which is done easily if you have a tool like this one called an elbow. But if you don't, just squeeze them in any way, shape or form that you can. But just remember to remove any pits from the juice because they will definitely make your liquor bitter. You've been warned. The last and very important thing I want to mention before we begin is that you need to sterilize the jar and the wooden spoon with boiling water. This will ensure that the mix of ingredients won't develop any molds or spoilage bacteria while in the stage 1 of the process. Done? Okay, so, first place half of the rose petals in the large glass jar. This is the foundation of our homemade floral infusion and as you do this it will perfume your entire house making it smell what I imagine heaven to be like. Now pour some of the lemon juice. This will give our rose liquor a nice tangy twist and help keep the color of the petals brighter because it helps with the natural oxidation process. Next up, the honey. This not only sweetens the liquor but also enhances the floral notes of the rose petals making it truly an elegant rose liquor. As you can see I prefer to layer the ingredients because from previous years experience I noticed that this method yields a better quality syrup and this influences if we will get a sensational floral drink or a disappointing meme. Lastly, add the cloves to the jar. These will add a wonderful depth of flavor to our organic rose liquor. We won't add the alcohol now because we need these ingredients to create a concentrated syrup over the next 4 days. So take the cheesecloth and the rubber band and secure the top of the jar, then place it in a dark cold place to macerate. Because I have magic powers called video editing tools, 4 days pass in an instant. And here we are back with a beautiful rose syrup, or the way I like to call it, the elixir of Rosalia. This is a magnificent health tonic as it is, but finally we will pour the alcohol over it and by doing this the spirits will extract all the amazing flavors from our ingredients and transform it into a delightful homemade rose vodka. Kinda like alchemy, but homemade. <coughs> Seal the jar again and give it a good shake, then store it in a dark cool place for at least a week. Quick disclosure here, I personally let it age for about a month, but you do whatever you think suits your needs. When this time has passed, the liquid will have taken a beautiful color and aroma. Now strain the contents of the jar through a fine mesh or cheesecloth to remove the petals and the cloves. Don't be afraid to get dirty and squeeze all this sensational floral drink out of the solids. You worked and waited too long to waste even a drop. And there you have it, your very own old school rose liquor. This traditional rose liquor making tutorial gives you a product that's perfect, I say perfect, for Instagram worthy cocktails or a special gift. Bottle it tight and store it in a dark cool place. It should last for at least one year but I doubt it as you will use it for seasonal infusions, romantic wedding cocktails, Valentine's Day rose drinks and everything else that resonates with love, romance and affection. The rose is, in the end, the quintessential symbol of desire, passion, lust and yearning, or as the French call it, amour. Mmm, that's so smooth and tasty. This aromatic rose liquor is not only easy to make, but also results in one of the most beautiful homemade rose drinks. Perfect for any occasion. Again, I want to thank you for joining me in this step-by-step -step rose liquor guide and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more delicious recipes and DIY projects. Now, cheers for crafting your own beautiful rose liquor at home and happy Rosalia everyone!